What's up everyone? Welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Corey and this is Inside Hydro. Today I have something a little bit different for you. Yesterday I was scrolling Instagram and I saw some pretty interesting posts that might be helpful for some of us home growers. The post came from Athena Nutrients, a pretty well respected company in the industry. There were two posts. They were about flushing and the importance of calcium and immobile nutrients at finish and I feel like this information could greatly help a lot of us. So I'm going to relay the information to you. If you're interested in seeing the posts yourself, they are on the Athena Instagram page. I will link it below. So the first post was titled The Importance of Calcium and Immobile Nutrients at Finish and it read Black Heart, Bitter Pit, Blossom and Rot. These are all names for calcium deficiency induced damage in crops other than cannabis. While cannabis doesn't have a chick name for damage induced by calcium deficiency, the consequences are just as dire neurotic growth, botulist infection, and yield loss. Regrettably, using traditional flushing methods with modern growing technique leads many growers to follow this exact path in attempt to increase quality. The traditional RO water flush has part of the equation right, removing nitrogen. Excess nitrogen is known to delay flower maturation and it's important to taper or completely remove nitrogen at the end of the flowering cycle to encourage crop maturation and enhance flower quality. Our testing has shown that controlled nitrogen deficiency during the last three weeks of flower increases total cannabinoid and terpene production. The caveat is that this technique only works if you continue to provide maturing plants with a complete immobile nutrient profile. This is where the traditional flush falls flat. While removing nitrogen from the root zone, the RO flush also starves new growth of immobile nutrients, most critically calcium as well as micronutrients. The crop appears to mature from the outside, but deep in the meristems, deficiency is setting in and incomplete cell wall formation is leaving the door wide open for pythium infection and crop destroying bud rot. Modern high yielding growth techniques have a minimal cation buffering capacity and RO flushes are unacceptable. Stunted, damaged plants are likely the outcome. So basically what they are saying is that the traditional flushing method of only RO water is actually damaging to your crop and instead we should be continuing to supply the plant with immobile nutrients during the flush. Immobile nutrients being calcium and micronutrients. So the second post was titled, Why We Taper Nitrogen and the Reason We Flush. It read, Excess nitrogen is known to delay flower maturation and it's important to taper or even remove nitrogen at the end of the flowering cycle to encourage crop maturation and enhance flower quality. Because of this, most growers perform some method of flushing to achieve the ultimate goal of higher quality flowers. Our testing has shown that a controlled nitrogen deficiency during the last three weeks of flower increases total cannabinoid and terpene production. Common flushing techniques include one or more weeks of only using RO water, tapering a complete nutrient solution, adjusting nutrient ratios while tapering, and a combination of all of the above. These methods reduce or remove other critical crop nutrients like calcium and micro elements, hurting overall yield and possibly leading to bud rot. So, I thought this was a pretty interesting read slash study. I mean, there's always been a back and forth of whether flushing is good or right or even necessary for a while. But, I just wanted to give you guys a little more insight on what some of the bigger companies and brands think is best. So, I just wanted to relay some of that information to you guys. I hope that helps. Comment what you think below. And I do have a grow update coming for you guys tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed. And I will see you guys soon. Stay up, stay high. Peace.